this is a quick video on how to use the mathbot.com uh, manipulatives for algebra tiles. And there's a couple things that you need to know. One, there's a text box here. So if you want to put a question in or you want to write an answer, you can say something like 2x minus 3. And there it is. You can actually go into the corner and make the text box larger or smaller. Um, there's a few things that you should know. If you want, you can change the color of the background very easily. Um, you can zoom in, zoom out. You can make it full screen if you'd like. You can go back. If you want to change the variable from X, oh, wait, actually, sorry. If you go to labels, you can label it. If you don't want colors on, you can get rid of the colors. Um, I like the colors, so I'm going to leave them. If you want to change the label, you can change the label, and now it becomes 2W. But remember, that's a text box, so if you want Ws, you have to change your text box to make it Ws. I'm going to leave it as X for now. Uh, very quickly, if I want 2x minus 3, I would grab an x. And you might think, oh, I'll grab another x. If you want a horizontal x. If you want a vertical x, grab the vertical x. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to go to copy. And that makes a second one. And the reason why that's important is because you actually have a finite number of um, resources here and here. But you can copy as many as you like. And there is 2x minus 3. Now, if you're saying, well, I want to do an equation, that's fine too. Let's say 2x3 minus 3 equals 4. You can certainly do that. And what I might do is I might say, well, how am I going to show the equal sign? If you go to vertical, it makes a vertical line. And so you can say, well, there's my vertical line. I'm going to go over here and say 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I have 2x minus 3 equals 4. The cool thing is, as you know, or maybe you don't know, but maybe you will soon, is if you add 3 to both sides, 1, 2, 3. Now, if you want to make a 0 pair, remember, a negative 1 and a positive 1 is 0, you can just put them on top of each other, and they go away. Same is true with the negative x. If you put a negative x on top of a positive x, it will disappear. Um, some other quick things, there is also a horizontal bar. And uh, if you want to split this, maybe you want this to be half of x. Now it's half of an x. Um, you can also split this as well, and you can split that. And then I think if you do that, oh, look at that. Now I have quarters. Um, this is kind of nifty. If you want to change a positive to a negative or a negative to a positive, you just go to flip. And if you want to rotate it, you can rotate it. If you want to change all of them from positive to negatives or negatives to positive, you can do flip all. Finally, the last two things I'm going to talk about are the delete button. Delete will delete one piece at a time. But if you have lots of pieces and you want to delete them all, you just go to tidy. And that tidies everything up nice and clean. That is it. That's how you use the manipulatives. Um, 